This is a view of MFA from the viewpoint of the user with the old registration service, the default registration service, and MFA enabled via Office 365. That's fixed MFA, no condition. We're in a web browser, because web browsers always show MFA. Uh, applications depending upon the version and age of the application and other settings. So we'll do this demonstration in a browser. We're at office.com and we're going to sign in. We enter the username, we click next. We see the brand link for the application and we click uh, enter our password, we click sign in. This user has been forced to use MFA, but they've not yet registered. So it says the organization needs more information to keep the account secure. There's no option to defer. I have to do this now. So I click next and I see the old legacy registration wizard. So I'm going to set some options. I'm going to choose my country, United Kingdom. I'm going to enter my telephone number and I'm going to choose to do authentication by phone so I'm going to click next. The text arrives and I get a number which I enter that number is valid for a short period of time and I click verify. I therefore associated this phone with my um, login. It provides me an app password. Now app passwords are a bad idea we can turn them off I recommend that you do turn them off unless you've got legacy applications that need them. They're turned off in the global settings for MFA. Because MF app passwords are not turned off, I get presented with an app password. Um, if you're not using them, that's just confusing to the user, and therefore you should ideally uh, disable them so you don't see that here. I click Finish, and I'm logged in. I'm asked if I want to avoid being prompted again. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to be prompted for my password all the time. And there we are, I'm logged into uh, my Office application.